Hi, this is Prasenjit from Informatica GCS. Today I am going to show EDI file processing inbound flow with Cloud B2B Gateway. Our agenda is to discuss about the inbound flow and the out of box mapping. Here is a small diagram to understand about the inbound EDI file. So first, the EDI file will be coming through some connection. We'll show in the demo part. And the EDI processing mapping will be executed. Once this EDI processing mapping is getting executed, it will create some interface file. That interface file based on the user's requirement they can use some other custom mappings to save the data in their organization database as per their need in fact if they don't need that custom mapping if they are able to save the xml data that interface file into their for their further communication or partner exchange operation they can do that as well Let's see about that out of box mapping. What is that? Basically, when you define the inbound flow, there are two parts. As I mentioned just now, as soon as the EDI file is getting arrived using its connection, the inbound processing mapping will be executed. That mapping is already predefined, pre-built by Informatica user doesn't have to worry about this mapping logic or its feasibilities. As shared in this screenshot, if you go to data integration, explore add-on bundles folder, you can see EDI gateway, EDI gateway version one, version two, etc. are there. And inside those, you can look at these mappings. These are exactly same as per my screenshot, B2B gateway EDI inbound mapping, B2B gateway EDI outbound mapping, and you can see those mappings. You cannot edit it. If you want to edit, if you want to do more customization as per your organization need or requirement, you have to copy it to some other folder and do that addition. After that, there is process to backend mapping option, which is a custom mapping which users can create by their own logic for their own requirement. The first mapping, which is running by default, which is inbuilt to parse any kind of global standard EDI file, it's called out of the box mapping. Why is it called out of the box mapping? Because user doesn't have to worry about the logic, user doesn't have to implement the mapping by its own. Let's go to the demo section to understand more about this inbound flow of EDI. So we are in IICS console, B2B gateway service. I came to that new asset creation. I will choose a customer here. Let's create a customer. So I have created the partner using the correct data. Let's go to the message. I want to process 850 EDI message. I don't need this 315. In fact, I can choose any number of messages for a partner. Right now, for the demo purpose, I'm just going with a single message, 850. As per my file definition and content, I know what is the version, what is the mode, and I want to enable it. Same. As per the file content and these locations, I have chosen the data correctly. These are all matching with my file content. There is no wrong value. In case, if you are providing any wrong values, it will be reflected in the data integration mapping run. It will be reflected in the events. This is my inbound connection. I have already tested the connection. And this is a dummy server where I have kept my 850 EDI file. 
extension can be anything that we know because B2B gateway is going to deal with the file content, not with the file extension. I have the option to delete, archive or rename whatever I want after the file is getting picked up. So this is the starting of the inbound flow. When I, when I will click the inbound flow start, this connection will happen first. This will go to this SFTP location, bring this file to the B2B gateway endpoint location. And then the out of the box mapping will be processed. The XML interface file will be generated. And in this demo case, I am not using any process to backend mapping, which is actually a custom mapping. User has to create by its own, as I told. And just to make this interface file, parse it to relational database, flat file, CSV for backend organizational backend purpose. Right now, I will go with the simple out of the box mapping. As I told, we, ca we should not and we cannot select any out of the box mapping here because by default it is actually chosen. And once I select this EDI file and this inbound, the first mapping will be ran. That is this B2B EDI inbound mapping. In case of outbound, definitely the outbound is going to be done. For our case, it is B2B inbound mapping. Let's save this partner and we'll test this inbound flow. I'll start the inbound flow now. So the mapping got succeeded. Let's go to the B2B gateway events. I can see it, the transferring incoming files using that SFTP connection got already completed. It is still, uh, it is it to show the mapping success here. Let's refresh it. Yeah, and it is showing the success. Let's go to the B2B docs to location to see the interface file. I found the newly generated file. Let me open the file. So the out of the box mapping just did the work for me. It parsed that 850 EDI file and provided an interface XML file to me. In case if I want to use the process to backend mapping, which is a custom mapping, I can use this file as my input and parse this XML file into CSV or relational table. So that was a very simple EDI parsing inbound flow using Cloud P2B Gateway. For more information and understanding, Kindly use this particular document link. We would like to hear from you. Kindly use these portals for your feedback and comments. Thank you.